Hello everyone and welcome in STM8 assembly language programming tutorial series. This is the first tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to talk about the basic assembly language instructions and the common misconceptions that you may face when you are creating a new project with STM8 assembly language. First of all, why you want to create an assembly language program? By the way, because uh, understanding the register level assembly instructions help you to create fast efficient code and because the STM8 is a complicated architecture, it may seem confusing for the programmers coming from the background of 8051 or PIC. So it is better to write a few programs in assembly to get familiar with this controller. So don't waste waste time and let's dive in. First of all, create a blank uh, folder. I created STM8-ASM folder in my documents. Next, go to the start menu and open the ST Visual Developer. This developer will ask uh, administrative privileges, uh, grant the privilege, and now come on the click on the file menu and click on new workspace create a new workspace navigate to the folder in your my documents where you created a folder for your current workspace in my case it is stm8 asm after selecting this cl uh, click on a new folder button and here name a uh, your first project led on i named this folder LED on the specified folder is created and after that I name to uh, create a name of the workspace let's go back to the your original STM8 ASM folder and name STM8 dash ASM click OK now it is asking you the uh, project file name you need to navigate in the STM8 ASM folder and the LED on folder now I am going to create my project I am naming it LD on here you need to select the ST assembler line and click OK now you need to select the microcontroller I am going to select STM8 SF103 STM8 S F STM8 S103 F3 P that's my na name of the my microcontroller on the board here you will notice some are for predefined folders if you expand the source file here you will see a main.asm file you may notice a, a large pre uh, written code don't get confused and remove all the code but leave, uh, starting from the main leave the code uh, segment dot rom and remove all the code just you will get something like this here are one two three and four lines in uh, first line stm8 uh, uh, slash says that we are using stm8 instruction set and the second uh, thing a mapping.inc file here is created automatically for you this file having some name of addresses according to your microcontroller it says first thing that we are using is ROM it says that we have a ROM address started from 8080 and end at 9FFF so when you are writing a code like segment ROM so every code written here will bound it between that addresses so here you are allowed to use your code write your code so let's separate uh, first a uh, few things to remember that in assembly language syntax doesn't matter it means uh, I'm uh, the case sensitive it is not case sensitive it means that you can write the instruction in lowercase or uppercase and the second thing that uh, uh, to add a comment you need to start the line with the semicolon so every line is uh, assumed a complete instruction 
indentation is very important in STM8 assembly. The first column is reserved for creating label. So whenever you are creating a label, label is just a, a name to a specific address line. So now uh, we are going to know over registers. So how to know what we are going to do in this example. Here we are going to create, uh, we are going to uh, switch on this LED which is connected to the PB5 of the pin which is the 11th pin of this microcontroller. It means you need port 5, port B and pin 5. Next you need to open the datasheet of the specific microcontroller and search for the GPIOs. In a pin configuration you see that we have the PB5 at pin 11 which is also contained I2C SDA so it is an open drain port pin. Next you need STM8 as reference manual so just go to the Google and open this reference manual. Once you downloaded this reference manual just navigate to the GPIO section. Here in GPIO just click on this and you will directly go to this GPIO related section. Here you see how this uh, GPIOs are configured. We are not going into the detail. We are just using an output format. So we need to know that what to uh, switch on. Here you see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 options to, uh, to make an, a, a pin uh, as an output. First is to uh, DDR bit, CR1 bit and CR2 bit. So we need to manipulate at least th 3 or 1 registers according to our need. If we need an open drain output, we need to change our CR1 and 2, 0. Uh, and DDR1. So uh, to use a pin as an output we need to make DDR respective bit 1 and CR and CR2 will define the modes because we are using a true open drain so CR1 and CR2 bit are not important so we just need to use DDR register to configure this port as an output and we need to set a bit of the DDR register and pin 5 because we are using pin 5. Here you will see the GPIO register map and you can uh, see that address offset of ODR is 00, IDR is 01 and DDR is 02 and all the 8 bits are uh, related to, uh, to the output pin. Now come back to the datasheet and press uh, control F and type PB underscore ODR and you will be redirected to this table. And here you can see the address of PB ODR and uh, as you can see that PB ODR is at 0x005005 and DDR is at 0x005007. So you need to note down these two addresses. Now come back to your ST visual development environment and in your assembly file here you need to define these variables so let's define pb underscore ddr equate and to equate you need to write down that dollar sign and after that this dollar sign means that you are writing an address a physical address not a number so you need to write an address which is the uh, which is just zero zero Come back to your data sheet and see 005005 uh, uh, if you are writing a DDR 005007. So 005007. And next thing you need to write down is PB underscore ODR which is equated at, at 005. 05, 005, 005, okay, 005. So you are done defining your uh, required uh, registers in this program. Next thing you need to create your main loop. So just uh, write a main label 
and you don't if you are coming from 8051 background and you know that you need to put a colon after a label it is not required in this assembly if you are coming from the pick background you already familiar with this uh, syntax style of creating a labels in assembly language because it is very similar in the pick assembly the difference is just that you need to keep in mind the indentation it means that you uh, tabs and spaces okay Be it is uh, just the uh, division of the uh, columns next thing uh, you need to learn is a gra instruction which is jump relative always and uh, uh, it will just create an infinite loop and it will jump it to the main always it means that whenever this instruction face the uh, the program counter will force the location to move back to the uh, defined label which is the main in our case it is a jump relative always instruction mean j r a and main and to uh, you need to configure first of all the D ddr bit 5 and you need to set a bit of 5 so to uh, set a bit in a register you can use the instruction of b set b s e t b set instruction and next thing you need to uh, provide uh, the address of the register or a byte you want to change a bit to 1 and next uh, after the comma add hash sign and provide the bit number in our case it is 5 so this instruction will force the pb ddr bit 5 to 1 and by creating this bit 5 to 1 it will become output the next thing we need to write 1 onto the pb odr register as well so we will just write b set pb ddr pin 5 and that's all for our program it will just write a one in the uh, ddr register uh, uh, ddr register and next thing uh, in odr uh, write one to the odr register bit 5 so these uh, will result in a hardware to turn your led on which is connected in uh, the an or terminal to the pin if a node terminal of the LED is connected to the pin and the cathode terminal is uh, provided with the current limiting resistor and connected to the ground will turn the LED on. The next thing is to compile this software and to, com uh, to compile this uh, software all you need to do is to press F7 or click uh, the build button and when you click the build button it will uh, start building your resultant file which is s19 in our case and uh, you will see zero error and zero warnings it means your compilation is successful you can navigate to the folder where you created your workspace and the project and you can uh, uh, find out this uh, file which is the executable file you can dump into your st8 f103 microcontroller to program a microcontroller you have two options either you can use the st link v2 uh, usb dongle programmer which will uh, program via swm interface or swim interface or the pin of the swim micro uh, of the the second option you have is to program via uh, use uh, usart bootloader which is which comes pre uh, loaded into a microcontroller and all you need to uh, need is a, a, US, a U, USB to serial converter and just plug your uh, uh, dongle into your computer and it will automatically load the drivers and uh, once the driver is properly installed and you can see uh, you can program from the uh, pro uh, flash loader here but we are using stlink dongle so i am going to navigate stvp in my uh, st toolset development tools and the st visual programmer it will also require the administrative privileges and once you grant the privilege it will load like this here you need to select your microcontroller which is in my case stm8 s103 f3 i have selected if it is not selected you can select from the list and second thing is to load the hex file 
just navigate to the workspace and your project and uh, on the debug folder and here you will see your led dot led on dot s19 file just load this file like this and uh, click on this red button which will program the crunt tab and also you can uh, go to the program and click on the crunt tab and or press control p it will all result to program your microcontroller after that you need to uh, plug out your st link dongle and i uh, uh, plug in again and if your code works successfully it will 